This is Mark Sutton from the University of California, San Francisco's IT Web Services Department. Here today with a brief tour of screen reading technology. I'm a blind person who has been using screen readers, braille writers, scanning equipment, other adaptive technologies since my childhood. What a screen reader does is, for example, I'm going to read this, start to read this page. Navigation bottom. Link. University of California. San Francisco. Link. About UCSF. Link. Search UCSF. And what I will now do is slow down the speech rate. Rating percent. 75%. 70%. 65%. 60%. 55%. 50%. 45%. Link. UCSF Medical Center. So as I was about to say, a screen reader converts what's on a computer screen into information that can be displayed through synthetic speech or braille output. Of this page. This is, this looks pretty much the same as the other one, the accessible version. But here, when I ask my screen reader to convey the major component, no regions were found on the it said that no region found. So for me, practically, Access accessible university. is that I have to read from top to bottom. Accessible university, all tab, untitled, no all tab. And if those accessibility features are not present, everything has the same weight. So we do not, do we, there, is, there is no way for us to say that where in a major section starts or where it ends. It is really not just a fact, reading the t content. It is also about the navigation. We have to discover the page, uh, and then that is the most time-consuming problem. So I don't have to stop and explore every little link to find where I want to be. On some web pages where there might be almost 100 links, but yet there's no way to skip to the main part of this article that I want to read. So I have to skip from link to link to link and jump from section to section to find where I want to be, the main article. That screen reader can only access the text that's presented on the screen. And so if someone just scans in a document uh, and puts an image up on their website, that screen reader is not going to be able to read that content. And so the web developer in that case needs to know to create all their materials so that they're accessible to a screen reader. In other words, so that they can access uh, the text uh, for that screen reader to uh, read it aloud to a person who's blind. To enter, message from, hi all. It's essential that people with disabilities have access to assistive technology, but that's not the end of the story. In order for them to be effective users of technology, the technology that other people develop, like websites and software and PDF files and so forth, must be designed in such a way that they can use it with their